when we come on YouTube, social media, or even if we are somebody like Whoopi Goldberg, she's on The View. Many of these entertainment type uh, shows, we are offering our opinion. And all over America, every citizen in this nation, I thought, I thought we had freedom of speech. This, this does not mean that you can cry fire when there's no fire in a crowded theater. So we have Whoopi Goldberg, and she's sitting on The View, and they are having a discussion, and she makes the statement, the Holocaust was not about race. <clears throat> In my opinion, even though Whoopi Goldberg herself, because <laughs> she don't want to lose her job, she has detracted her statement and has said that she was in error. And there's nothing wrong when we are shown that we are in error. None of us are perfect. We're not experts. And even experts make mistakes. All of us, we're human beings and uh, we make mistakes. And we are in error. I wonder and I question if Whoopi Goldberg actually was in error that she was bullied and threatened for her job to detract her statement that the Holocaust was not about a race. I heard her statement. I did not see anything she was saying in error according to my knowledge. I could be wrong. This video is here. You can put in the comment section and correct me. Now, she said it was not about race because they were all Caucasians. How could it be about race when everybody involved was white people or Caucasian? Now, before I made this video, I did a quick Google search trying to find a race of people called Jew. Trying to find Jew DNA. I did not find Jew DNA. I did not find Jew as a race. Now, simply, of course, there's scientific uh, identification but we know race as white people yellow people, red people to put it in simple terms or description to my knowledge a Jew is not a race it is people who believe in a religion called Judaism and they are part of a group or a tribe of persons. Now, there are those who will reference the Bible or maybe even the Quran, these religious books, but these are not these are religious uh, documents or these are religious teachings and they are not historical 
They are not factual. So you cannot rely on the stories of religious texts to verify or claim or make anything valid, credible. In fact, I heard that Whoopi Goldberg herself, she calls herself a Jew. And we know that she is a soul sister or African-American, however you want to say it. I prefer to say soul sister. And then we had uh, Sammy Davis Jr., the late Sammy Davis Jr., he also claimed to be a Jew. A Jew is anyone who converts and believes in the prophet Moses' teachings or the Torah. You can be a Jew. It has nothing to do with race, but a group of people who believe, or this group in this case, they were a group of people or a tribe, and because of their uh, behaviors, their activities, they were targeted for oppression and blamed for certain things. And, and this is what brought into being what we call the Holocaust. <clears throat> now, Another question that needs to be raised is why can't we question these things? Why can't we question Jewish people or the Jewish Holocaust in general? Why is there so much anger? Why do we get upset? Because these things are questioned. Now, me personally, I feel as though the Jewish Holocaust did happen. However, this number that we get, 6 million Jewish persons were killed in the Holocaust. When you look at the mathematics, when the... Uh, gas chambers and the ovens and these other killing machines and how many was available and how much actually you have to use slaughterhouse logic there's only a certain amount of animals that you could kill out of slaughterhouse a day was it actually were they actually operating like a slaughterhouse or was a little bit here and a little bit there or were they actually like putting people on a line most of the people that died in the Holocaust, a lot of them died because of the condition. They were not, uh, they died from starvation. They died from brutal, the brutal life that they was living more so than uh, being shot or put in gas chambers. Also, they were experiment, experimented on. They died more so from starvation. And when you look at the bodies, you will see they are skin and bones. So I'm not saying that the Holocaust did not happen. I believe those who were promoting a Jewish homeland, Jewish person called Zionists, they over-exaggerated the number to gain more empathy, sympathy, so that they could persuade the powers that be to help them get a homeland. That's what that was designed for. I cannot deny a person or persons when they show that they were branded or tattooed with the markings of being in these concentration camps. However, Again, the mathematics, when you look at the number 6 million and you look at how many concentration camps, the killing places, how was this possible? Then you have to look at when did this start? When did this end? 
and mathematics. I, and, and see, look, my mathematics is terrible. I'm not the greatest mathematician in the world, but it's not adding up for me. This number, six million, died in the Holocaust. I don't. I don't see it. Mind you that you have people in Israel who never suffered a Holocaust. And this is what, or the argument that they make to us as African Americans, I say, so brothers and sisters, you never was a slave. Why should you get reparations? Well, there are those in Israel who never was in the Holocaust and they get reparations. In fact, the state of Israel has been getting welfare from the United States and probably Germany and some other places since 1958. I believe that's when the state of Israel was established. Now, you mean to tell me since 1950, no, 1948. You mean to tell me since 1948, after you got all this help from America, its allies, or whatever, you still need help. But you're so smart. But people also, at the same time, people tell me that Jewish people are so smart and they make all this money, whatever, but you have a a nation that still can't do for itself. You still need reparations. You still need help. Well, the main help that they give Israel is weapons. And they support Israel because Israel sits in a strategic place in the Middle East. Now, going back to the, the number game of six million the Red Cross, who was the first one on the scene after the end of World War II, they do not report all these millions and millions of people. They don't estimate those things. And again, in conclusion, why can't we question the Jewish Holocaust? I heard that in some places it is against the law to question or you come out in the public saying that you don't believe in the Holocaust. Now, when people don't want you to question something, they don't want you to examine something, what are you trying to hide? Are you trying to hide the fact that you told a lie that 6 million people died in the Holocaust? And what else are you trying to hide? We are human beings. Some of us, they we lie, we cheat, we steal, we murder. But when Jewish people do these things, we can't talk about it because they suffered. Well, the African-American soul brothers and sisters in America, we suffered and we get talked about like a dog and made mockery of and denied justice, shot down in the streets. But when it comes, why are these, because of this suffering, like they are the only people that ever suffered on the earth, why can't they be scrutinized like all of us, regardless to our background, slavery, or we've been abused, or whatever. I'm just asking. I concur with Whoopi Goldberg's first in her original statement. And I also understand because of the fear of losing a job, she would detract, and that's a shame. She had to do something like that. 